Hello guys, welcome to your 10th Python programming tutorial. Today we're going to be going over calling one file to call on, I don't know, another file. I don't know how to explain it. Basically this file is going to open another file. Uh, to do that, we're just going to go ahead and get started, alright? Now the reason I chose this tutorial for uh, today is because we're finally in the double digits with tutorials. Alright, now to get started we're going to import time. Now we're going to import system. Now we're going to import OS. Those are just basic imports. OS really doesn't have any tutorial behind it besides the fact that it's going to allow us to do what we're planning on doing. Alright. So, going over everything we've done before, we're going to make a define function. Now we're going to define exit as uh, print now closing print please wait and then time.sleep3 and then print goodbye time.sleep one system dot exit zero sorry if I'm going a little bit fast you can always just pause the video um, alright now we're gonna make another define function we're gonna define this as start already print uh, hello welcome to a tutorial print to open the other file please press F Oops, that's F, and then enter. Print to close. Please press. Oops. Please press Q, and then enter. Alrighty. Oops, that's wrong. Okay. So we've defined both start and we've defined exit. Uh, next, let's define um, new file. Now you don't need to define new file, you could always just uh, add it in later. But just for tutorial sake, it's going to be easier if we do this. Define new file as os.system, move my mouse out of the way, parameters inside your parameters, you're going to put the file's name and the extension .py or whatever the file is, maybe .text, whatever it is. For this we're going to do tutorial 2.py. Alright. So that's our new file. Okay. Now we're going to basically do our basic functions. Uh, we're going to make a an raw input statement called the side equals raw input. Um, I decide to. All right. Now if decide is equal to g. Oops. I put g f. Uh, we're going to do. Uh, New file is going. We're going to add some more statements. Print now loading new file. Time dot sleep three print file loaded successfully. Time dot sleep one. Oops. All right. Just for some basic uh, niceness, uh, new file. Going to call upon that function. Alrighty. Now else if decide is equal to q. We're going to exit. Now else decide. Oops. Print. Sorry. That wasn't a choice. Okay. Uh, now we got to go up here and we're going to start our program by using our start function that's up here. Alrighty. Now you're going to make a new file by going to new window. I've already done that and I've titled it tutorial 2. Make sure these files are in the same directory. Like mine, it's in the desktop, just to make things easier. Alrighty, so we're gonna import time, we're gonna import uh, OS, and we're gonna import system. All right, print, welcome to the new, wait a minute, let's use define functions again. Define, uh, new start, alrighty. Defining new start as print, welcome to the new file, print. I'm glad. Oops, I'm glad you are learning something. Alrighty, define exit as system. Oops, we're gonna print now closing. Print please wait. Time dot sleep three. This is why I use the time dot sleep function a lot. All right, print goodbye. Um, or better yet, we'll add some German just for the fun of it. Off, I think it's uh, Veter. 
Zian, something like that. Um, Should have paid attention more in German class. Time dot sleep. One system dot exit. Okay. Now we define both new start and exit. Now we're going to define return. Now what return is going to do is going to returning you to the previous file. It could be returning you to the other file. We're just going to do that. All right. Print. Please wait. Please wait, amigo. Okay. Now we're going to time dot sleep three. Oops, that's four. Three print loaded successfully. Already. Now we're going to time dot sleep one. Print. Oops, now we're gonna is OS dot system tutorial dot py. Alrighty. Now we're just going to call upon our new start function. And we're going to make a new raw input decide equals raw input. I decide to. And we've, we've left something out on our new start function. What we're going to do in our new start is when we print to return, press R and then enter. Print to quit, press Q and then enter. Alrighty. So we're we're saying new start. Decide is equal to raw input. Uh, if decide is equal to Q print. Oops. Just exit. Oops. Don't add a colon there. Else if decide is equal to R. We're going to return. Alright. Else. Sorry. Print. Sorry. That wasn't a choice. Yeah. A choice. And then we're going to exit. So exit. Now we shouldn't have any problems. Uh, just to make sure we don't have any problems. We're going to save them both and see if we can execute it. And oops, it appears I forgot my colon up there. Again. Alright, so this one will run perfectly. Uh, now we're going to test this one. See. If, okay. So they both run fine. And here we go. We're going to test our program. Hello, welcome to a tutorial. To open the other file, press F and then enter. To close, press Q and then enter. We're going to test our close function first. Now closing. Please wait. And you can see goodbye. All right, and closed. Now, here comes the moment of truth. We're going to test our open other file function. So F. Now loading new file. Lo file loaded successfully. And you can see welcome to the new file. I'm glad you're learning something. To return, press R and then enter. To quit, press Q and then enter. We're just going to return to the other file, returning you to the other file. Now you'll see it's going to appear in this box. See, hello, welcome to a tutorial. Now, you may be thinking, Luke, what's the deal? I don't want all of this to show up. Um, I want it all. I want the old file to clear, and I want this new file to show up as its own box. I'll, I'll explain that to you in the next tutorial. Believe me, it's going to be up right after this one, so you'll be able to do it. But, now that we've fully grasped, hopefully you've grasped the concept of uh, the whole open another file thing, um, I'm going to let you be on your way. So make sure you like the video, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment if you have any questions. Uh, this is kind of basic. Uh, we're moving into more advanced stuff as we continue. Uh, thank you for watching, and goodbye.